have a bunch of supplies here on my island in my kitchen and I was actually planning on using all of the supplies for a New Year's party that we are having here but I actually just found out that we're gonna be having some company we have some family that is up from Texas and they are coming to our house this evening and we're gonna be doing like appetizers and drinks so I thought tonight would be a perfect time to throw together some of these um, stands and trays that I had planned on making for the New Year's party um, so I figured I'll throw these together now and I can use them for my party tonight so these are just some of the supplies that I am using I grabbed a few different sized mirrors um, I grabbed this I think is an 8x10 and um, an 11 by 14 and they're just the plain dollar store mirrors so I grabbed some more of these really handy little storage containers that I always use for feet on different projects that I've done I grabbed a bunch of this silver ribbon it's the six foot um, diamond wrapped ribbon i have some silver balls that i actually got from the dollar tree last year and i had them on one of my trees last year but i am going to use them in a project this year and they're just plain little silver sparkly balls i grabbed four of these really cute reindeer and uh, I just love these. I've seen them at the Dollar Tree before and they just didn't go with my decor this year, but I was thinking for New Year's, they're actually perfect because like my theming for New Year's is like silvers. And I grabbed another one of these silver large platters, glass bowls. Um, they're two different sizes. This is the smaller of the two and this is the larger. You can see they're a little bit different in size. My Dollar Tree had I think three different ones they had the large one this one and then they had the one with a little lip on it I also grabbed a bunch of this confetti type foil shreds I grabbed some silver and I grabbed some white so now we are gonna get started with the projects that I'm gonna be making for tonight okay so the first one that I'm gonna make is I'm actually gonna use these little silver balls that I have here and I'm going to hot glue these little feet right here onto the bottom of these balls right over where I actually pulled off the little the little hanger part so I pulled those right off and I'm gonna put some hot glue around this area right here and hot glue it right to the feet just like that so it, there's a nice sturdy foot. And then once I do that to all four, then I'm gonna put some hot glue on the top here and I'm gonna hot glue this portion to the base of my tray underneath. So these little silver feet show through, the, like the, it sits up a little bit with these little silver feet underneath. But I'm thinking that I'm gonna put the hot glue on the edge of this little um, container Just like that and then I'm just gonna stick that right on my ornament right over the little spot that sticks out for the ornament hanger so that way when it sits up it sits up nicely I'm gonna continue and do that for every one of these so now I am hot gluing these little feet to the bottom of my tray. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking a good amount of hot glue and just putting it right on the top of the ornament, just like that. And I'm flipping it over and I'm lining it up where I want it. I want it as close to the edge as possible and I want to make sure this foot part is as flat on the top so when we flip it around it's a nice flat surface to rest on. And I'm just holding it there for just a second to let the ornament sit and set to the bottom. All right, so now I have four feet and I can flip it around and that's what it looks like. Okay, so for my next stand or tray that I'm gonna be making, I'm gonna actually use two of these 
um, eight and a half by 11 inch mirrors. And I've already taken the frame off of one and I'm gonna do the same for this one right here. And basically it's just like a picture frame. It's you just pop the little tabs on the back open and oh, some of them just pop right off which it's fine if you don't even want them on you can just pull them off and then you're just going to pull this backing out and then right underneath the backing the mirror itself so you're just going to pull that mirror right out of the frame now you can keep the frame for another project um, actually, the frame would be perfect if you wanted to um, use it for the top for a lantern because um, it's that nice, thin, um, easily cuttable material. So then what you're going to do is you're going to flip this glass over so that the white side is facing up and you're going to take four more of those little, contain those little plastic containers and we're going to take the caps off of them and we're going to glue the feet on to the, we're gonna use these as feet again, and we're gonna glue these feet one onto each corner of this glass frame. All right, so that's what it should look like when you're done gluing the little feet on, and we can flip it back around. Now it sets up nicely off of the counter. So now we're gonna be putting a little edge on this and I've actually started putting an edge on it already. I've used this um, diamond wrapped ribbon. Okay, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've cut four strips out the length of the mirrors. So two longer for this one and then two longer for this one and then four strips the, the width length so two for this one and two for this one now while i was cutting this ribbon or this mesh whatever it is i guess it's ribbon i noticed that once you use up a roll there is this little plastic container which is super handy i ended up buying four of these so i'm going to end up having four of these little containers but if you take the cap on them it's very similar to the little containers that I used for feet. So I'm actually going to, once I use up all this ribbon, I'm gonna save these and use these for feet on another project. So once all of this mesh, um, like sparkly ribbon is cut, what I'm going to do now is I've already done it for one. What I've done is I've used my hot glue and I've put just a few little dots of hot glue right along the edge of the mirror. And I've just tacked down like one little strip of these little sequins just to the edge. Then I flipped it up on its side and I ran a bead of glue all along the edge and then folded this over so that it sits nicely um, like a 90 degree angle off the side of the mirror, just like that. Now I'm gonna do this all the way around the mirror so that it creates almost like a little border all around the mirror. So I finished hot gluing this sequin ribbon or whatever it is around the edge of my mirror that has the feet on it. And so that's what that looks like. And then I also did the same thing for the other mirror without the feet on it. Now what I'm gonna be doing is I have, I'm gonna use this large glass vase or jar. All right, so I filled my little glass vase with this shredded silver uh, foil, I guess it's called, shredded silver foil. And I also found a little gray colored bow that has stars on it. And so I filled that all in this little glass vase. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm gonna run it all around the edge of the opening of this glass vase or glass jar. And then when, I'm, when I've got that on, I'm gonna flip it up on top of my mirror that's upside down and I'm gonna just hold it into place until it sets right in the center. Okay, so now I have this 
pretty little stand like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some more hot glue on the bottom of this little vase and I'm gonna hot glue this to the base that I made the feet on, right in the center, just like that. So that is what this little stand is gonna look like. Now, I mentioned previously that I'm not gonna be using this to put food directly on. And so, because I don't wanna to have to wash this. There we go, just like that. Get it nice and centered. I don't wanna to have to wash this. Um, it's fine if I take some Windex and wipe the mirror off with some Windex, but I don't wanna to have to wash this. So I'm not gonna be putting food directly on it. So there we go. Now we have another little two-tiered stand. Okay, so here's what that little stand looks like. It's super cute. And it will be perfect for displaying some appetizers like in some wrappers or something. Okay, so for the next little stand that we're gonna make, I picked up three of these square glass, or I should say rectangular glass trays. And I have not ever seen these at the Dollar Tree before. These were new and they had a, a small stack of them and it, they were over near um, the, like the glassware and um, like where the plates and mugs and stuff are that are glass. Um, but there was only a small stack of these. So I ended up grabbing three because I knew I would use them. And I grabbed two more of the regular um, glass candlestick holders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using this Fix All Adhesive Super Glue, and this is also from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to be just making a three-tiered stand. We're gonna put some super glue on the base, and we're gonna glue the base down onto the center. And then we're gonna put some on here, and we're gonna glue this one on top. And then again, we're gonna repeat that process so that we have a three-tiered stand, just like that. stand and I just glued it so I'm actually gonna let it sit for a couple hours before I even move it because I made sure that it was all lined up perfectly so that it doesn't wiggle or wobble or anything like that and I wanted to make sure that everything was centered on it and this one is super super cute and it looks really expensive and literally it was five dollars all right, so for this very last tray that we're gonna to put together, I'm trying not to get the glare in your eyes here. Um, this mirror that we have is the largest one and it's, I believe the 11 by 14, um, but this one is glued to the frame. So we can't pull it out of the frame. So I didn't like the gold around the edge. So what I'm gonna use is I have this sequin ribbon and it's 15 feet and I've got this from the Dollar Tree as well. Um, I've used this for a different project but I have plenty left. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna hot glue a small strand of these sequins on top of the gold. It's kind of hard for me to show you right here with one hand but I'm gonna hot glue it right on top of the gold so it creates just a thin silver border around this next tray. Then I'm gonna be using four of these silver reindeer and these came from the Dollar Tree as well. And we're gonna be using these as a stand for this tray to sit on. All right, so I got all of these little sequins, these silver sequins glued all around the border of the frame here, or border of the mirror. And so I think that looks pretty good. And now what I'm actually gonna do is I found these 
two silver snowflake ornaments. So I ended up cutting the little tags, the hanger tags on them off. And I'm gonna actually use these as like little handles for this tray. And so I'm gonna glue one to one side and one to the other. And again, these, um, these came from the Dollar Tree. I've actually purchased them earlier this year, but I haven't used them for anything. So I figured this would be the perfect project to use them for. So I'm gonna, like I said, just glue one to either side so that there's like a little handle to hold on to. All right, so I've glued these snowflakes, one on either side and now they're pretty sturdy. I wouldn't put anything on here and carry it around using these, but if you're just placing it on something, I mean, I think it's just cute more for display. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, this is how I'm actually gonna use this tray. So I've got these four little reindeer that I got at the Dollar Tree and how I'm going to arrange them. And like I said, I'm not gonna even like glue these or anything. I am actually going to place these guys. If you can, if you see, they have these, their noses like pointed up in the air. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place four of them facing in. I'm gonna do two, two on one side facing in and two on the other side facing in like this. And I'm gonna just make sure that they're pretty well, um, like evenly spaced. And that way we have four points of contact with the tray above. So then we're just gonna place this tray right on top and we can actually adjust this a little, adjust them a little bit, pull them out towards the edges just so that this tray sits on these reindeer just like that. And so that's how I'm actually gonna use this as a display for my buffet table. Now I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put on here. I'm not gonna put food directly on here. I will have containers that I put the food on, um, but just so that it, I, I like having multiple levels of like whatever I'm doing for a buffet. So even if I put like little um, like cups of stuff up here or um, even have like a couple maybe small dishes or small bowls set up here, um, I just think it's, pleasing to see multiple layers of um, food at a buffet table. All right, so here are all four of my trays and stands that I put together. I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of the ones that we did. We did the large round tray with the ornament feet right here. And then we did the three-tiered glass stand, which this one I am loving. I, I'm gonna get so much use out of that one. Then we did the two-tiered glam tray or glam stand, which is a double, it's got the really pretty vase kind of underneath that. And we the bottom layer has the feet on it like that. Then we did this cute little tray. It's like a removable tray and we set it on the reindeer. And so that's what that one looks like. I also wanted to mention really quick that I will be doing a live question and answer for you guys. I get hundreds of questions every day about different DIYs that I've done. Um, so. The place to ask those questions is to come to my Facebook page, it's the Pixie Dust Housewife, on December 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will be doing a one hour live question and answer for anybody who is a subscriber to my channel or follows my Facebook page. So again, that's December 27th at 8 p.m. for one hour. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for my um, New Year's buffet table setup because I had this whole table all set up um, how I'm gonna have it for my New Year's party and I did a walkthrough video on how I did it. So be on the lookout for that one coming up next. And I have quite a few more videos coming up here, so stay tuned and we will see you real soon, guys. Have a great day.